Okay, now we are going to see how to describe the daily routine of a person. Okay, we saw describing uh, people, clothes, uh, and then we saw objects and houses. Now we are going to see how to describe a routine. Describing routine. Okay, now I am going to read out a passage and then we are going to make dialogues out of it. Kamalesh and his daily routine. John Divakar sat at the table with his classmates of yester, uh, yester years. They were there for an alumni uh, reunion. It shocked him to see the haggard faces with receding hairlines graying at the temples. It was difficult to associate these aged looks with the young exuberant faces from his past. What have you done to yourselves? You look older than your 35 years, exclaimed John. Life is hectic, John. We've been working very hard at our uh, jobs, so hard that we only occasionally have you know, time to eat or sleep, said Prem. Life is hectic, no doubt, but each day is not so. It is monotonous and dull. We do the same things day in and day out, the same old routine. This was from Kamlesh, the most energetic in his team during their school days. Kamlesh could never conform to a work schedule. To him, variety was the spice of life. He would jokingly raise his coffee cup in the canteen and say, Let's eat, drink and be merry, for tomorrow we die. John turned to him and exclaimed, How can life be a routine for you, Kamalesh, when you have a doting wife, two lovely children and a host of friends? You will be surprised if, you, if I tell you how, said Kamalesh and began on his long description of a routine day in his life. I get up at 4.30 a.m., and start my day with buckets at the queue near the water tanker. After half an hour of pushing and pulling and calling each other names, I managed to carry back six buckets of water. By then, I am soaked to the skin, partly by sweat and partly from the spray I am showered with every time there is a squaw squabble over the water tube. By 6 a.m. I have completed my morning preparations and I have shaved, bathed and dressed for work. From 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. it is sharing responsibilities time. I take charge of some of my wife's household chores like ironing, my son's uniforms, filling his water bottle, checking the school bag, polishing his shoes. At 7.15 a.m., we sit uh, together at the table for breakfast. At 7.45, I leave home for work while my son sets out for school. I drop him at school on my two-wheeler and reach office at 8.30 a.m. From 8.30 a.m. I sit at a desk with the in tray heat with files and the out tray empty. It is a non-stop movement of hands, files and trays till 6 p.m. Finally at 6 p.m. I clear my desk, lock my shelves and return home. 
picking up my son from the coaching center on the way. I am back home by 7 p.m. Till dinner at 8.30 p.m. I spend time catching up on the news by reading the newspaper or watching TV. In between, I help my son with his studies, make courtesy phone calls to relatives, submissively listen to my wife's uh, tirades of catch a wink or two on the sofa. After dinner at 8.30 p.m., I take a solitary walk down a lane and occasionally bump into a neighbor who stops a while for an aimless chat. At 9.30 p.m., I am in bed ready to slip into an undisturbed sleep till 4.30 a.m. in the morning when the water lorry will screech to a halt and the driver will blare his horn persistently with all the vigor of the farmer's rooster on the countryside. John had listened very attentively. He now nodded his head sideways and said, I still don't understand why you should look so old. Okay, so this may be any, any of you, your own routine work. So it's up to you how to take life, enjoy your life as well as do your work and also keep young. Okay, so you, if you keep worrying and if you don't take care of the health and the body that God has given you, you're going to look old, isn't it? So that is what has happened to Kamalesh, who had been a very energetic boy in school and now in their alumni meet, uh, all the 35 year olds are meeting and here he describes how his life has become a monotonous drudgery. Okay, now uh, I'm going to um, give you some dialogues based on this routine. Let's see now we saw daddy's uh, reunion. Let's see how mommy's reunion is going to be. That is lady's uh, reunion. Okay. Uh, daily routine. Shall we have um, a ladies meeting where they discuss uh, things that, uh, that are happening around and how they can go about and all that. Okay. Uh, let's have. Mary, uh, we have Mary, we have um, Rani, and we have um, Prema, okay, Mary starts the conversation. Hello friends, how have you been spending your They are meeting after, after a month's uh, gap and they have their ladies uh, group meet and they are uh, talking. Okay, how have you been uh, during the last Rani says, oh, it was very strenuous. With children at home. Children on vacation. Prema says, but Mary, how do you 
manage how do you manage to stay young energetic and pretty all the time okay and mary gives a reply you see even i have a lot of commitments at home looking after my in-laws sending children to school and also take care of my work it's okay um next then uh, rani asks it's really amazing how you manage to strike a balance with your work at home and work outside and prema replies well you see it's all in the mind keep smiling always lead a disciplined life spend 
quality time with your family. So Rani and uh, um, that's sorry. This is Mary, isn't it? This is Mary. Mary says this. So Prema and Rani. Okay. We sh we will try. We will try. Okay. Now, if you see, uh, we find three friends meeting after a week or so: Mary, Rani, and Prema. And uh, Mary. You, they seem to think that she stays very young, energetic and pretty and uh, Rani and Prema, they find work so strenuous, so boring and all that. Okay, so let's see how the conversation goes. Mary, hello friends, how have you been during the week, during uh, last week? During the week, okay, during last week. Rani says, oh, it was very strenuous with children on vacation. You know, when children are at home, parents find it very difficult because they are so naughty. That's why they'll be waiting for schools to reopen. Prema. But Mary, how do you manage to stay young, energetic and pretty all the time? And Mary says, you see, even I have a lot of commitments at home looking after my in-laws, sending children to school and also take care of my work. Rani, it's really amazing how you manage to strike a balance with your work at home and work outside. Mary, well you see, it's all in the mind. Keep smiling always, lead a disciplined life, spend quality time with your family and Prema and Rani okay we will try they say so this describes uh, three ladies talking about uh, their routine work and how to take life as it is now I just read out about John and Kamlesh and all how Kamlesh was describing about his routine work. He gets up at 4.30, goes with the buckets to fill water from the water lorry and carries it upstairs and then he irons the children's clothes and lot of work. Any family will have a lot of work but how we do it is all in our hands. That's what uh, Mary says. Okay. So any routine work done with joy, cheerfully, smiling and smilingly and also with a positive attitude, you can all be very successful. Okay, uh, connected to describing the routine, I'm going to give you some activity. Okay, let's see. I'm going to give you fill ups and some clue words and you're going to fill up the um, blanks. Fill up the blanks describing routines. Let's see whether you scored full marks.
John's friends are so busy that they find no time to eat so they So they move, dash most of the time. Kamalesh is too busy in the mornings. that he finds no time he finds no time to read the Newspaper So he After seven PM. Okay. Kamalesh's son has to has to attend class coaching classes. family so his family does not drive out or According to this is all from what I read out about Kamalesh's uh, routine uh, when he uh, talks to John. Okay, according to Kamalesh, Kamalesh's schedule, schedule and schedule both are correct. The American way of pronouncing it is schedule and the British way of pronouncing it is schedule. Okay. All his duties are within, within a dash
with specific work at specific times. Okay, next one. Compared to the mornings, dash Evenings are pretty relaxed. Okay, now I'm going to give you the words. Socialize, hustle, skip meals, time frame, and Cat is up on. You have your one, two, three, four, five. You have five blanks here and five words. Come on, let's see how good you are in filling up the routine work. So, see, you have to uh, enrich your vocabulary. You have to learn certain words to describe events describe your routine and all that. That's why I'm giving you uh, words like these and I make you fill it up so that you learn to use the appropriate word at the appropriate time, okay? John's friends are so busy that they find no time to eat. So they dash most of the time. What do they do? They skip meals. Okay, they skip meals most of the time. Have you uh, found that out? Skip meals. Skipping meals means being without eating at all. Sometimes uh, you, in your busy schedule you forget to eat your uh, breakfast or you forget to eat your lunch and you go ahead with your other activities. That's called skipping meals. Okay, Kamlesh is too busy in the mornings that he, that he finds no time to read the newspaper. So he dashed the news after 7 p.m. Um, catches up on, okay, catches up on. Catches up on the news after 7 p.m. Sometimes he reads the newspaper or he watches TV news. Okay, third one. Kamalesh's son has to attend coaching classes so his family does not drive out or dash often. Socialize. Socialize means uh, getting together, having a party, or uh, meeting friends, so socialize, so this becomes three. So they do not socialize often. There are some families, they make it a point, uh, maybe at least every Sunday they go out um, for a movie or they go to a park and spend time, uh, which is very important for families to be together. 
so and also to meet other people socializing okay that's called socializing according to kamalesh's schedule all his duties are within dash with a specific work at specific times within a dash within a time frame within a time frame that is every day it's the same routine this time he this is 4:30 he gets up 5 o'clock he goes and gets the uh, fills the water from the buckets uh, in the buckets and then he has his breakfast and he irons his clothes all at specific time so it is called time frame so he uh, duties are within a a is separate okay within a time frame with specific work at specific times so when you have specific work at specific times you call it a time frame compared to the mornings dash kamalesh's evenings are pretty relaxed compared to the mornings hustle hustle means doing everything in a hurry okay hustle and bustle you say so all these words you should learn only then you can use it in your conversations hustle and bustle that means being uh, so very busy doing this doing that no time to uh, it's uh, there's a poem called uh, leisure by w h davies what is this life a full of care we have no time to stand and stare so everybody's life is becoming so monotonous that we don't even have time to admire the beauty that god has created beautiful nature some parents make it a point to go out on a vacation to ooty and kodaikanal and uh, other countries to admire nature whereas some are caught up with the busy schedule and the routine work okay so these words you have learned how to fill in and these are the routine work of kamalesh's uh, family